Now here we are at the front page of the ProVision software. I'm going to show you how to find a client and save their information, their scan information, into what we call an XML file. That's the three letters you see at the end of the file name. It means it's compressed and suitable for provision. It makes it easier to send that file by email from one practitioner to another. In this case, the client is moving from me to a practitioner in Brisbane. So here we go. We go to the settings area. And now there's a purple box at the bottom. This is where we go and back up or restore clients. So I'm going to back up this client, as in compress the file and email it to the client, or should I say email it to the practitioner. The practitioner will then restore it at their end and bring it back into ProVision. So the first thing I need to do is find the client. Well, I'm going to create a folder with this client's name in. So over here I've created a folder and that folder is going to have an XML file put in it and I'm saving it on my desktop. I make a note of that so I know where to find it. So here it's telling me I have created a folder in my desktop and there's the name of the client. Now down the right hand side I've got a list. These are our clients. And it's quite a long list, as you could see, but it's alphabetical. So here we go. That's the client I want to save. And I've got two choices here. Select all clients, which if I was to click that, it would indicate all of the boxes and then make a huge file that would be effectively my client list backed up. And we recommend you do this at least once a week and save that information either on a cloud or a memory stick somewhere away from the computer that you do the scans on. The reason we say take it away from the computer is if you have a problem with the computer, let's say you put it on the driveway and run it over, things like that, these things happen, uh, you wouldn't want the backup file saved on that same computer. So uh, an, an example would be to put it on a memory stick or save it in a cloud somewhere. That's an online storage area. Um, I've highlighted the one client I want to save and I'm backing up the selected client. It's done. So now I can say OK and back to the software. Now if I go to my desktop we'll see that there's a file here called an XML. There it is, and I've put my mouse over it, XML file, and it's the name of our client. And if we look at the size of it, it was only 54 kilobytes, which means it's a very small file, and I can save it to an email and send it to the other practitioner. I hope that's been of help to you.